shot into the end of the world. Going back to when we said, who swimming to the arrow, uh, what was it said, beach run to reach, uh, was a dash to beach. So the arrow dash somebody in. That arrow that can be shot for the end of the world. Crazy. Because it's not a, 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 a stone, yeah. a sharp stone with a stick. Verse 14, behold the, behold, the plagues are sent and shall now return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundations of the earth. 16, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not back, or returneth not backward, even so the plague shall not be sent upon the earth, shall not return again. 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? That's when he got real scared. He, this was in the vision. Mm -hmm. He saw the nuclear destruction. He saw the, the tsunami waves. He saw all that shit in that vision. Yeah. And he saw himself there. Yeah. That's why he said, woe is me. It reminds me of uh, when brothers watch uh, X-Men. Yeah. You know, when they go into that little uh, simulation yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, Dr. X's. Uh, yeah. Professor X's. Uh, Where is it called? I forgot what I can't think of it. Ah, shit. But that chamber is yeah, a, yeah, a chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they kind of, you know, reminds me of. Like, they actually play out scenarios like within that, um, yeah. within that, uh, you know, that chamber. chamber. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. In the train room or something like that. Hey, they got some shit down yeah. here they just built. Uh, the spear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you go up in that motherfucker, it's, you know, you can see the whole screen and shit. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, like, you're yeah. really in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got it. Serena. Serena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I think it is something like that. Good yeah. brother got me to Please draw my 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From hence she shall be taken. Their arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Some uh, we read uh, Isaiah 13. This Isaiah 13 is near the top. Shout out from a far country. Verse by. I don't know Who's reading? Whoever got it first, go. Isaiah 13, verse 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms, of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustering the host of the battle. Yeah, because there's a sound that comes from this broken. The sound is going to sound, man. It's going to be loud, like there's a, like, there was a riot happening over at Container Park right now. There's 200 people could make that sound not like music. It could change it. They're all screaming and running and hitting on shit. That's what those are going to sound like. It's going to be a different type of uh, tumultuous sound coming from it. And if somebody's up in the mountains coming down to, to, to overtake you, you got it. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yep. That, that fire is going to come out. You're going to know the Heavenly Father that brought that type of destruction. That's funny to do this thing. Were you mad at the, were you displeased at the rivers? <laughs> like, damn, what, it's that bad? That, that, what did they do? They get fucked up too. The fish can do shit, man. They can swim. Yeah. Fuck everything is going on. You about to show the world. Fucking around with nobody. Everything about to, everything over here is about to get. Other places too, but everything over here is about to get. No, there's no way around it. Everything is good. And those that come out from caves, that 
somehow escape, where they escape is escape is chains. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's why you were reading uh, Isaiah 14. Yep, yep exactly, because there will be some oh, okay, that, that, okay. that make it happen. Was that uh, one day, yeah, you read that in uh, Revelation, uh, the sixth chapter. Yeah, yeah. Let the, the case fall on us. Fall, 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 fall upon us. Yeah. Amos, us from the, from the, from the Amos 9. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 149. Is it to it's, bind it's them with. Another, it's another, uh, is it is this bind them with chains and fetters? Or the, yeah. yeah. So they're, they're gonna, the Lord's going to allow the elite <clears> to survive only for them to get taken up and go right into captivity. Uh, They're going to be the first uh, crop of slaves. Was it Ezekiel? I can't think of where it says that they're going to bury the bodies. Ezekiel 39. 39, I thought about saying 37, 39, yeah. There's going to be dead bodies all over the place. We can't forget, yeah, there's going to be a nuclear war, but we can't forget all the casualties the Lord's going to cause too. The Lord's going to be over there in the Middle East tearing shit up, blazing shit. They're going to be zapping people over there. A lot of them soldiers that's going to be over there, they're going to be turning from fighting each other and they're going to try to fight the Lord and the Lord is going to just do away with them. That's second answer to the 13th chapter. He, he saw, he got a close up view of the Lord seeing, he saw a bunch of soldiers, yeah. you know, they, they probably got they, they, uh, yeah. they have their tanks and, you know, Humvees and all these different vehicles with, with, with uh, guns or, or certain uh, 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 missiles or torpedoes attached to them yeah. and they're turning the, 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 uh, the nozzles right. and pointing them towards the Lord and the Lord just zapping them. Yeah. Yeah. All he saw was the, was, was the dust and the, smell, and the smell of smoke. When I you saw know? this, I was afraid. <laughs> yeah. Like shit. You saw how Right before it happened, they was all fearful, but but the Lord was putting it in them to, to just try to fight anyway, fight it out anyway. That Will Smith and the ID4 spirit, you know, they were afraid, but Durst fight. No matter, bro. You know, he saw. Which one is that? He ain't gonna go without a fight. He ain't gonna go without a fight. That's why he think right now, he think he can, he can fight the Lord. Yeah. With all this technology he has right now, he got the, the, the space state, he got the uh, space, space force. force. He got the doom technology. He got weather modification. He got, he, he, he hey. It appears that he, he got it. It appears like he, he got it like that. Like yeah. he can just, he got the power to wage war against a, a, a celestial being. That's, that, in his mind, that's what he thinks. And that's what yeah. that's the sentiment he's putting down to the public. Man. Yep. You know, his his officers think the same thing because he believes. It. And like we uh we brothers did videos, I believe that was like a month ago, a month and a half ago, where he was like, oh, he was like Edomite speaking up on like a panel or whatever. And he was like, you know why America won't never lose? Oh, because we got the FCC. Oh, yeah. And we got yep. this. And we got yeah. that. Yep. And we got that. Yep. You know, and brothers watching it just laughing because he's like, look at this fucking devil, man. He just thinks that this place is never gonna fall. He forgot there's a higher power. But that's that pride. That's why the scripture says, "What the pride of thine heart has what it has deceived you, has deceived you, man." And that's exactly. Well, get that in the with the Isaiah ten. It talks about the axe, boasting up against who and who. Yeah, the human. The, uh, yeah. yeah, Isaiah ten and uh. So Jake, Jake, uh, uh, thinks the same way. The video, uh, <laughs> uh, you had a Jake family was pranking him about a UFO invasion. Right, and the nigga said, Go grab my gun. Grab my gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Seriously? <laughs> 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 Jake thinks the same fucking way as he saw, man. Yeah, I got it. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 15. And he reads, um, Shall the axe boast, up, boast itself against him that he with their wit? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up. Or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. And then that goes, that, that, that ties you right into um, Potter's Clay. Yeah. Uh, an understanding of how Most High made us to do his will. One lump unto honor. Yeah. 
Yeah, all the power that he has, the military might, the technology, the weaponry, the Lord gave that to him. How are you going to boast against the Most High who gave you what you pride yourself on? Right? We were thinking something earlier. We are talking about uh, we, we want uh, resources. And we want everything in the, the world. Is, we want every resource in the place. But you didn't know that when you were given a dominion by Isaac and the Most High, ultimately, that it had an end. Because he gave, he gave your, your younger brother, he gave him everything. Yeah. I already gave him everything. I gave him everything. <laughs> well, I guess I could. When you're going to get a little time to have everything under your power, this man's still trying to get every, completely everything under his power. He has all the good and, and, and he has all of that on him. He has all the resources. He has all, all of that. But he wants more. He wants what Jacob got. Yeah. This is ultimately because. This is Yahweh Shai's world. Yeah. Yahweh Shai coming back to get what already what belongs to him. So that's another reason why the Lord is coming back for war. Yeah. Y'all done, done messed up my, my earthly habitation. If somebody break in your house, kick you out, and then they live in there, you ain't gonna regroup, you know what yeah. I'm saying, and, and they, back and, and take it back. And they didn't put up pictures of themselves yeah. as they you. And that's your shit, though. Yeah. Your family's still in it. <laughs> it's not a house that you just bought. You built this house. Yeah, you built it. <laughs> you, know? you put your blood, sweat, and tears in the, in the building up. Literally, you put blood, sweat, and tears in the, into the whole way that this is and the way that it's going to end up in the kingdom. You know? If you think of it that way, you know? I mean, it's heavy. Um, how do you really feel about that? Y'all like participating like that? This was builds you in the spirit because yeah. you'll see what you know and you sharpen up on that, but you also see what you don't know. Yeah. So you go back and, and, and study and, and read over and watch videos and you know, because it's for y'all. That's well, you know. The beauty of a body is when y'all didn't know something, what happened? But it was gave it to somebody else. Yeah, that's how a body works. Another, another aspect as well is when you don't know and you put on the spot, you ain't gonna forget that no more. <laughs> You're not gonna forget no more. Because it's like, ah, oh, shit. It was cut. Ah, uh, I don't know. You ain't gonna forget next time. Because you're gonna, you're gonna hate the feeling. And that's gonna urge you to what? To become stronger and stronger within the world. And, 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 and it's for us. We get to see who's humble. Yeah. You know? 